I do that in motion one more time. I like that. Correct. Yes. So you got two. Mine's five. No good. Nope. You need one more water element. So now it's my go. Draw a card. Cancel summon attack. I'm gonna play that card down. Now that's called a oracle card. Oracle cards get played automatically. Yeah, and you cause the attack when you play that down. So it automatically means the effect happens once you do it. So if I roll a die, if I get a two, four, or a six, my opponent cannot attack with summon doll, spell, or fusionist cards on their turn. Hey, I got a three. So that doesn't mean anything. She's clapping because she's happy. Mm -hmm. See what else I can do with my magical hand right here. I'm gonna play a fire element down. Fire element down. So that's two fire elements. These guys aren't gonna be used yet. So here's my attacking sequence right now. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna use to attack that. No damage on that go. Second one. That's a four. Whoa! That's down to ah! 60. That's really sad. And that brings it down to 50. Thank you so much for killing me. You're welcome. You got time. All right, your turn. Draw a card. No, she got another water in play. And an arrow. She's almost stacked up for some stuff right now. <laughs> Actually, it depends what she does. She might kill me, but I'm not going to say how. I'll make sure you change the tracker down to one love. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. okay. All right. Four. This is not a five. That's not a five, but there's redemption. She can now attack with this Pisces octopus. Six. Ooh, that actually put me back a bit, actually. All right, so I had 120 hit points. I got hit for eight, but because I am weak to water, that's an extra 30. So that brings me down to 82. Yikes. Draw a card. Play this card face down. Aha. Play down the trigger effect card. Play down two fire elements like a pro. Up oh, one. Oh, I can't even do that. Ah. Uh, Alright. She's using my fusions now. Alright, so I'm going to do this to attack that. Three. Brings you down to 30. I'm going to use my Sun Princess to hit for 30 for the win, hopefully. And that card is gone. All the way, yay. And that goes in the Parish Pile, which is going to put that dum 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 Parish Pile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there. It's the Parish Pile. All right. Then I'm going to do some attackage to this creature over here. Yes, so that brings it down to 26. All right, here you go. That's correct. Now, just to break this down for everybody, because she has one water and one air, she can fuse into the ice element. So that's how fusing the elements works. Once you have one plus one, I'll tell you right on the bottom over there for the requirements, you'll be all set to fuse. Yeah. 
but it only counts. Yes. It doesn't, it and then I discard this one, right? That's correct. Yeah, so it's not really something. And then there's one life in the house. Yeah, there you go. Yes. But it's when one life in the house. The lonesome octopus is going up against all this. Oh, now she's playing peace vibe. If she rolls a two, four, or a six, I can only play element cards this turn. So that means I cannot play this. Go ahead. This is after this card. Total is two. My defense is three. No hit. Passes again. Nope, can't do that. All right. So I'm gonna do this to attack this. No damage. This to attack this. No damage. This to attack that. Only three says 16. You may go. Yeah, you can play it down again. Yeah. All right, she just played on the ice and the air element. I'm not saying that I'm psychic, but I know she confused at this particular moment. Yeah. Um, see, I have this phase one, and it says phase out. Yeah. Let me see. Show flashes to the flash to the audience. See this? That fuses with that. So yes. Okay, so I can do that. Yes, you can. Okay. Boom. So all the hit points went away. She now has 59 hit points with a really deadly effect called Arctic Touch. She can pick one Fusionist card in play, and I can't attack for one turn with that card. <laughs> okay, this one. All right, so this one can't attack. That one. Oh, that's times two. Ouch. See if she hits it. Three, no damage. My go. Alright. So I'm having a fun time trying to attack, even though I can't attack right now. That's fine. And just for to clarify, that one element, as long as you have the requirements, you can keep stacking on the ice element. So you can keep playing that down as long as you have that. So it doesn't have, you can make it pretty. It's easier so everyone knows what's going on, but it's not required. So just doesn't let everyone else know. All right, cool. So I can't attack with this, but I can go with that. Five, that's 30, so that's 29. 19 hit points left. <laughs> Here you go. And this goes in the... Yep, that goes in that parish pile, yep. You can stop me from attacking. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop that one again. Smart. And attack that one. Oh. Okay. Why? No damage. Yeah. Ooh. The die hates me. The die. This is the dice fault. No. Oh, yeah. 
All right. Now what I'm going to do in this game, I'm going to play a Flare Beast down like I had previously. I'm going to fuse that with the air element in my alignment now to get out my Flash Beast. Then I'm going to do what we call a substitution. Now you're only allowed to do one substitution per turn. And you basically draw one card back to play down another card. And then I'm going to use my infamous lightning flash for 29. And that card is gone. Now the tracker that she previously had earlier, this black one right over here, gets returned to 4. Now, you may notice it's still my turn and there's nobody on her side of the field at all. <laughs> this is where the hit points come in. So, in order to determine how the damage works, you round the number up to the nearest 10. Once you do that, you don't have to roll. If everyone else, 1, 2, 3. So that's going to be a total of 60 against that. So it'll be 14. No, it's fine. Here, here you go. It's not looking good for you, is it? No. Yeah, you can play that. All right, so she's going to use the Ice Summon Opal. going to search her deck for an ice card. Hopefully that should get something that's icy to freeze me up a bit. There you go, she got ice element out of the draw. And you need shuffle. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do a shuffle for the lady. It's really because she's a princess. Mm -hmm. Welcome. So basically, I can like stack that on. Yes, yep. But I can't play a phase one without a phase zero. Exactly. She's getting it. I passed. All right, I'm going to do a substitute. Don't want to do it to baby girl, but I'm going to show you how to wipe out an opponent. All right, so as of right now, I'm doing 20, 50, 60, 